Tina here. Welcome to episode two of Vintage Players from Ohio. Today, I'm going to tell you about one of two pitchers from opposite ends of Ohio who both pitched in the early 1900s, Leon Red Ames and Sam Lever. We'll start with Red Ames, featured in this 1911 Philadelphia Carmel card. I purposely picked this card for him because of the background color. Clever of me, right? Ah, anyway. Ames grew up in Warren, Ohio, which is just outside Cleveland. He pitched for the New York Giants and was the number two pitcher behind Hall of Famer Christy Mathewson. Manager Tug McGraw always had Red pitch in the home openers because he was a good cold weather pitcher. Of course he was. He grew up in the path of winter storms off of Lake Erie. Sadly, Red lost most of those openers, but they were all close games lost in the final innings. As can happen with pitchers, Red got into a slump in his 1911 season. The New York Times wrote in August of 1911, Leon Ames stacks up against the toughest of luck of any pitcher in the big show. The Times went on to plead for someone to send Ames some type of good luck charm. Well, on September 11th, an unnamed famous actress obliged the Times' request and sent Ames a necktie and a four-leaf clover just in time for the giant's road trip. Ames was directed to wear the tie with his civilian clothes and under his jersey, which he did. Christy Mathewson said the tie would have done for a headlight, and he further noted it made Joseph's coat of many colors look like a mourning garment. Well, the Giants went on 15 and 4 on the road trip, with Ames winning four out of five games. Seems like his lucky charms worked. Ames was a strong competitor in both the 1911 and 1912 pennant wins for the Giants, but he and fellow Ohioan Josh DeVore were traded to the Cincinnati Reds for the 1913 season. As I mentioned before, Brett Ames's card is part of the 25 card set from Philadelphia Carmel E95 set of 1911. On the PSA website, Kevin Glue points out that 11 of 25 cards are Hall of Famers, including Onus Wagner. Let me show you the back again. So you can get a good close look and freeze frame if you want to. The company was launched in 1901 in Camden, New Jersey, which is right across the Delaware River from Philly. It was launched by two German immigrants, Jacob Schleicher and his stepson, Adolf Ebeling. As with other candy companies of this era, cards were included to entice consumers to buy their candy. The first cards released by Philadelphia Carmel were non-sports cards, but they soon released their inaugural baseball set, the E-95s. I learned about Red Ames from the research summary written by R.J. Lesh for the Society for American Baseball Research. I will leave a link to Lesh's full narrative in the description below. To wrap up, I'd like to thank Alex Bowman53 for sending new viewers my way. Don't you guys love Alex's videos? What a wonderful community member he is. I hope you're enjoying these mini baseball history lessons. I'll be back soon with a story of Sam Lieber of the Pittsburgh Pirates. As always, thanks for watching and may your dream card come to you today.